agus da grúpa slua mór agus da bhí mí fós ag chaptas chat. Cead mí le fós a chuid linn a new show de an dorn a chion go three session ólas a tháinig an thoras orc mara. Is mission maíb show a gheag sa mic opar le údar as na gréta de bheagal bhí an zéigin is agus sa mic fíle cúis thoras orca thras na seacht chun de gréta. Tá sé gan a seacht chun de gréta ar an costa agus tá go leor deisní chun an costa ar bhealach chun bannach sa gréta agus an ama cha hablin agus sult the ones as an achomín thosa. You're very welcome to today's Marine Seminar. Um, it's one of three sessions we've organised on the, on the theme of marine tourism. Um, and uh, we hope you enjoy the morning. Um, we're recording the sessions, some of the topic in the session. So today we have speakers, some speakers as Gael again, a few, just a few couple of focus. So there will be presentations in English and in Irish. So what we're doing is we're still figuring out the technology for simultaneous translation. What we will do is we will have for the Irish presentations or people speaking in Irish, we will have bullet points going up in the chat room. So to keep an eye on the chat room or open up the chat box and Edel is doing our translations there with bullet points um, and there'll be pre they'll have presentations as well. So that should give you a good guide. And if afterwards you want anything additional from us on that, please get in touch and we'll try and help you fill in, fill in the gaps. But uh, so the bullet points obviously won't have everything translated, but we'll do the best we can. Um, and uh, we're hoping for the next session maybe to have audio um, with another channel where Fidel can actually translate, but didn't work out today. So um, that's the plan on the translations. Um, you can write any questions you have in the Q&A box. So at the bottom of the screen for Zoom, you've got the Q&A and you've got the chat room. We'll keep the chat room for the translation and the Q&A then can go into the other session. And we'll see how that goes. Uh, everybody is about 15 minutes, including Q&A. So if we run out of time, we'll try and hang on to the questions and deal with them afterwards. Um, so, on a session of the Creek Nigahina Club, a Gahina Hook, the Meleshkela Bayman Stern, not from a keen Sabay Myler, and so Chance the Mamas is all good to see Harther, Carol Hishihim. I can tell you already we'll be running late and over time, so we'll probably be going till around 20 past one. Um, and um, stay with us if you can. And um, it'll be recorded anyway. By the way, Katie, brew record one of which is Jen Thuggets, Conahane. We'll be recording the sessions and it'll be on our YouTube channel afterwards. So, um, as I said, maybe show you some dumps. I guess not the aim question. Chris Susser and Q and A. Um, we're very excited about the day. So um, I'm just going to check the Zoom that we have the recording on. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we're right all good. Good morning, Katie. So thanks to Katie who's driving the Zoom. Good uh, morning. Um, so I suppose on session and you, which have been on a chat at Echo, just session a chef on fresh one and chat at Chatsos as Berla. Oh, okay. Come on. So on session, show Jiria er Achuni Mara Erin Costa. Agus so when they're being with the plan all in session show, you should get started brand new and the Achuni general with the Agan Koshariga. Care to phrase at the end of when Kian Shkriba and then his parents are having a fight there on Hordzorn. Agus care to talk goodie pubble agus the hooders also get done. Agus care to phrase at the end. So it's a lot fair when you to raise the line of being the Agan on the core common limb goodie a pubble under the under Hagar start and also the chain. I just got to Ireland because the poorly hand they had. I just fresh in from the country. I didn't even know any tourist or actor. I just thought, "Did you think I'm going to be a fresh?" I just thought, "So, because I'm just in for the thing." I just thought, "Sure, we're few and I'm a hand to win." I hope it's worth your while being with us today. You know, we're all going to try to look at the new. I can't say our doors are questioning. I just come on a gach niv. I even to be new a guest. Anything, any project we look at, obviously finance is an issue. But um, again, I won't have the answers on money today, and you'll put them more arigadaga in you. A tossing gaff talk with a shin concap agus and play, agus, tassura can go make over spragul agavin you. But they explain if you're carried to face at the end of Kosharika. Tantalin, Tadini Inta Agan and you at Kainz, to Ramshilah and Council Yagan, but Tina Campbell, John McCarran, Agus Kahos, Sweeney Agan, or Korda Hunday, Agus, Homa, Tal, Aholaki, and Mishka. We'll talk about blue ways and how to develop them. We have Noreen Neal Downing from Corkham and Oren Moore talking about their journey to develop a blue way. And March Notorishka is with us from BIM talking about the flag program. So I mumbled over my piece on the County Council, but we're delighted to have four from the County Council in Donegal with us. We have Cleanna Campbell, John, McClar John McCarran, Gamaneshkil, Dahi Freel and Cahal Sweeney, and um, they're going to talk about what they're up to in Donegal, um, and they're very active up there at various areas from piers to beaches, so we'll hear all about that, um, and I'm looking forward to that. 
So um, everybody's about 10 to 15 minutes. We get started. Um, I, uh, as I said, any questions, please put them up into the Q&A. And um, we have a problem today, technically, um, even the cameras are over, which is a pain, unfortunately. We tried to get them going. The cameras aren't working, so you won't see the speakers, unfortunately, but you'll see their presentations. Um, I've got that in. Keshni Ekin Zera. Something on email at Haragin Exera Uderos.ie. So I'm at the aim of the Nahu to sell every Sage Anguillin. So without any further ado, let's get started. I'm delighted to welcome. Um, our colleagues from Donegal County Council. I work closely with a lot of them up there with Donegal Tourism, um, a great organisation. And I always think Donegal is very um, active and very um, proactive, I think, in terms of um, um, what they're doing there on the ground. And we have their senior engineer, Tina Campbell, along with her colleagues, John, Cahill and um, David. So we get started. I think, John, you're up first. Uh, if you want to take control and put up your presentation, is that OK? We'll go over to you. John, we're seeing your emails. Okay. Um, are you are you seeing? Um, can you see the presentation there now? No, we saw it for a moment, but it disappeared. All oh, right. It must be. I have two screens here, so. Um, yeah. Let's see now. Okay. That's it, and just press presentation mode then at the bottom to get the perfect. Grandma. Is that okay? Is that okay? Yeah. Just enlarge okay. the screen so we have the whole screen taken up. You know, with um. Presentation more at the bottom there. See the little slide logo. No, it's gone again, sugar. Yeah, but you know, Cahill, at the, at the bottom of your screen, you'll see a kind of a symbol for um, presentation. It's the third symbol in. Uh, besides, see where 57% is at the bottom of your screen? Yes. And then to the left of that, there's a Yoki Madu. You click that, Sinead. Yep. This one? Yep. Okay. Yeah. How is that? It's coma. I'd say keep going anyway. It's not. It's, I thought it would enlarge, but we won't panic. It's um. Well, we can we can read it anyway. I think. Is, is that okay? That's much better. Yeah. Come on. Is that better now? Right. Well, let's see. I, um, if I have that. Is that okay? Yeah. Perfect. I don't understand why it's not um. Why you can't put into presentation mode though? But um. See, See the top left icon from the beginning. See that one there with the play button. The little, yeah. Just yeah. Try that and see what happens. I'm clicking that now. There. Okay. Um, Let's go on. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Sam. Um, hold on a second. Here. John. Is that better? That's brilliant. Take it away, Grimaldi. Okay. Do you, Dave? Um, Sean McCarran, as I am dumb, August, as I am old, or may lay quite a good and all, August, be me a cancel of a new um, air, um, Kush Barriga, August, uh, marine tourism. Um, Jay Boma Jogam. So, uh, I will continue with that without further ado. What I'm going to talk to you about, um, Beaches in Donegal, the role of Donegal County Council in the beaches, uh, the challenges that we face, uh, the main beach tourism activities, um, the potential business opportunities that may exist, uh, Donegal County Council initiatives, and a conclusion. So in Donegal, we have 1,235 kilometres of coastline, uh, which is a substantial coastline. Uh, I counted 107 beaches. Um, along that area, which is a substantial amount of beaches. Within that, we have 21 designated bathing areas under the Bathing Water Directive, um, under the, uh, the policing of the, of the Environmental Protection Agency. Uh, within that, we have 12 blue flag beaches. For those of you who aren't aware of a blue flag beach, what it means, it's a very stringent um, global accreditation uh, that takes into account the water quality, environmental information and education, um, 
beach management and public safety. So we have 12 blue flag, we have four green coast beaches, which is um, a national accreditation um, for high water quality and high uh, amenity value. Uh, within our beaches, we have 13 wheelchair accessible beaches, uh, six have beach wheelchairs availability, uh, which involves um, the volunteer being able to provide the wheelchairs for the people as they request them. Um, further details are available on the uh, donegal.maps.arc.gis.com and donegalcoco.ie. Um, that's, that's the type of beach wheelchair we use. One of those will set you back about 2,500 euros. We have um, six of them in the county at the moment. We're looking to get a further two um, at Fintra and Bunkrana this year and possibly another one as well. So that, that's a growing, a growing area, the beach wheelchair, which is a great facility, as you can see from the picture there. Just with regard to accessing the beach offering in Donegal, if you go into the Donegal.maps.arcgis RIS section, I've done a great job in uh, setting this up. There's a lot of good tourism maps there, um, but the one we're looking at now at the moment is the blue flag beaches you see in the middle there. We click that um, and you'll see a coastal map of Donegal, which shows the locations of the various blue flag beaches. You can then select, um, I've picked Marble Hill there. Once you select by just clicking, you will get a site description of the beach um, and what, what it has there with regard to Marble Hill. We have uh, flowers, bird species. Um, it's used by local community um, tourists and uh, there's a lot of different information. You can expand that further to get a, a profile of the water quality and the bathing water code for each beach. A nice photograph there. I'm hoping you can all see this presentation okay here. Um, yeah, perfect. Okay, uh, amenities uh, list would be on the side there, maybe with regard to there's a beach weed chair available at Marble Hill, talks about car parking, situation with regard to dogs, first aid, uh, lifeguarded beach parking, that type of thing, uh, public convenience. So that's a, that's a very good resource that, 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 to see what the offering is. The role of the County Council within, within uh, beaches we have statutory obligations under the bathing water, the EU bathing water directive, which involves a lot of sampling that goes on on the water quality uh, periodically in accordance with the licenses. Um, water quality and safety is managed by Water Safety Ireland. Um, they have a lot of criteria with regard to um, lifeguards and ring boys and that type of thing. There's over a thousand ring boys that have to be periodically inspected um, in, in the Donegal beaches, which is a huge challenge for us. Um, the beach management involves water safety, uh, litter, signage, information signage, and coastal erosion. Um, the team involves uh, senior engineer Brian Cannon, myself, John McCarran, we have a water safety uh, designated officer, David Breel, who um, is also on the call here with regard to questions. David is our go-to knowledge base for everything beaches around the county. We then have a lifeguard supervisor, Lisa Dalton, with 40 lifeguards on duty. We work closely with litter wardens, contractors, community groups through Antashka, uh, Clean Coast, Tidy Towns, and the Coast Guard for safety issues. That's notwithstanding Uterus as well, obviously. Um, challenges we face uh, due to the COVID-19 pandemic and an increase in demand for coastal and marine tourism opportunities, staycations, as well as the ongoing promotion of existing um, Wild Atlantic Way uh, and existing event, uh, events such as regattas, festivals, July holidays. Uh, we, we're focusing on beach access for all users. Um, there's currently a car parking study by KPMG, which is looking at the issue of camper vans coming onto sites and stuff like that, which can be problematic for everyone and how we manage that. We have to deal with strandings, dolphins, whales get washed up from time to time. Um, coastal erosion, we're doing uh, studies in the Glantys Municipal District at a number of locations, four locations. We've just completed a study in Inishowen which talks about, you know, options with regard to soft and, and hard engineering measures or the, the, the let nature take its course option is also something that, um, that we monitor as well. Um, we're looking to improve facilities and amenities on beaches and we encourage and support tourism initiatives and business opportunities. 
Um, here's some pictures uh, just of what we have to deal with on Ross Nola Beach there in the July holidays. As you can see, literally, I would say hundreds and hundreds of vehicles there coming parking on the beach. It brings its own challenges there with regard to litter management. And obviously some people get caught then by going too far out into the soft sand. You can have all sorts of things going on. Huge challenges there at some of our, our main flagship beaches. The main beach tourism activities, which are going on um, and get more and more popular, particularly with regard to the pandemic, would be the walking for mental health. Um, we're lucky we have a great offering in Donegal for that. Uh, swimming used to be a seasonal thing. It's now all year round with, with um, sporting clubs and cheap um, wetsuits available and that type of thing. So that's a challenge as well. Um, but the, these things bring surfing, big, big uh, tradition of surfing in the county, um, water sports. There's, there's a lot of clubs involved there, a lot of um, tourism attractions, canoeing, kayaking, diving, snorkeling. Boating, sailing, and fishing tours. There's rock climbing, um, adventure racing, use the beaches, coastal walks. There's also natural habitat exploration going on as well. So there's, there's huge activities and a lot of great um, groups which your cooperative, cooperative societies will be aware of, I'm sure. Um, potential business opportunities that may this may unlock. Um, the market, we have a lot of holiday homes um, around our beaches, particularly strong links with Northern Ireland visitors. There's a lot of traditions. Um, for example, the, the beaches in the south of the county, Ross and the Bondorn would be visited by Tyrone, Fermanagh. You've got the Gaeltic areas, um, Dunfanaghy, Port Nabla, along the, the Glenties Municipal District would be maybe stronger Belfast visitors there and the show would traditionally be have more dairy visitors. That's a huge market. Um, you also have GB and European tourists that are coming, coming more and more. You have the Wild Atlantic Way initiatives, which is bringing more and more tourism in. There's a lot of SME opportunities, which you'll all be aware of. Retail outlets, coffee pop-ups, food outlets, water sports equipment, um, outdoor activities, horse riding, um, walking tours, plenty of opportunities in that regard. This ob obviously opens up um, B and B opportunities for accommodation as well. Uh, regulated camping is something that we feel needs to be explored um, to help things move, work better. Habitat, wildlife, aquatic tours, uh, marine and coastal tourism uh, was a 1.9 billion industry in Ireland in 2018, um, with about a third of that, 650 million ish. Um, for marine tourism. So you can see the potential this has. Um, some ongoing council initiatives um, with regard to the islands, uh, we're promoting water safety schools um, on Aran Moor and that's expanding into Gola and Tory Islands. Uh, we're looking at public conveniences um, on Gola actually this year um, and a permanent one on Inishbofin, a new facility to be, to be constructed in 2021. Within our blue flags, we have two marinas at Greencastle and Rathmullen, which are, which are huge attractions. Um, we currently have a funding application um, went in December 2020 to Board Falcha, improving facilities for changing um, areas, showers, meeting rooms, car parking, decisions pending on that. Downings, Bundorn and Marble Hill were the selected beaches under the Board Falcha criteria. They were the best fits for the criteria. Um, we also carry our own internal beach review in 2020, which that, that table can be made available, but that, that was assessing all our beaches with regard to what's blue flag, what's green coast, what's designated on the Wild Atlantic Way, um, what we have with regard to lifeguards, their facilities, toilet facilities, permanent port loose wheelchair accessibility, um, beach wheelchairs, number of car parking spaces, um, parking, drinking water available, uh, beach showers, litter, dogs, Life boys. Um, a lot of work going on to try and embrace and maximize the potential with regard to beaches. In conclusion, this is a great time of opportunity for, for Donegal to maintain and build on our marine tourism offering in relation to our wonderful beaches. Um, we look forward to, in Donegal County Council, we look forward to collaborating, um, ongoing collaboration with Udris Nagilta and other key stakeholders to achieve the same. Um, myself and David's emails are there and uh, 
if anybody has any questions or, or wishes to contact us after, we, we're, we're happy to be involved to assist. Um, John, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Carl to say his piece next, and then we, we have a few questions we can put to people, to the, to the four of you who are there from the County Council, we will do that, I think, we we'll go on. So, Shanine, an honest patient, our father, um, John, Gramina Mahagat, and of course, I'm Caller and the Trani, all in Hulas and Shin, and Anna Warfath, Gramahagat, John. Kahal Matatu and Shin, and Matushin to me, and the hell, plus Ms. Lats and Shin, I guess, took us in Shinarash because he could be cashed. Yeah, I'm going to Uh, I can go after the show. Anwa, first of all, was a grandma had a Okay. Okay, my girl. So, especially Kaha Mak Sevna, I guess my government is the Kola Kanda Gunengal. Commissioner Flagler asked me Kian, I guess the Queen Golir, Arthur Gosta, I guess I have some run shot. I guess my girl can't you air the Hashner or my file the body pleasure. Um, Shishan Pontoons, August um, Acha for the Fashion to the Mashal. So Lam Marie and Merlin Martin, um, our curly hill of Merlin's, but you may have this for Sethic, uh, Captain Up, um, Mashal. Okay, uh, my name is Carl Sweeney, and um, uh, from the Peers and Harbors Engineer with Donegal County Council, uh, my presentation today will focus on the provision of pontoons. A beneficial marine tourism leisure facility, which also provides support to the fishing industry and other peer users. Marine tour leisure and boating, increasingly popular activity in the Irish coastal waters. Research indicates that many more people could be encouraged to participate in coastal boating and water sports and facilities, and mainly access were improved. Marine leisure developments can range from provision, of, usually by the local authority, of simple public infrastructures such as slipways or pontoons to development of more sophisticated marine complexes that may include hotel, residential and retail components, etc. However, tourism studies show a gap in marine leisure provision along the western seaboard, which includes a lack of suitable facilities and safe haven, resulting in marine leisure customers not being able to berth every 25 nautical miles as deemed desirable. Donegal is a very challenging sailing waters, but when pilot has a coastline of an excess of a thousand kilometers, much of it is rugged and unsuitable as a safe haven or for safe berthing of vessels circumnavigating its coastline. Donegal County Council, however, has developed its peer and harbour facilities to serve the marine industry and has supplemented those facilities with limited capacity through the provision of offshore mooring facilities. Visitor moorings can be provided by any local authority as an option for visiting yachts where funding of the order 5,000 euros will, will pr pr provide this. Donegal has 32 visitor mooring sites from Teelan in the south as far as Moville in the north at several different locations. These have to be serviced annually to, to ensure that they're safe and to ensure the safety of, of people using them. Donegal County Council has a contract in place to maintain the, the mooring voice annually. The pontoons, a local authority can adapt its traditional piers and harbours through the provision of a pontoon, which consists of a platform or ramp supported by floats, and is usually joined to the shoreline with, with a gangway. This type of pier maintains a fixed vertical relationship to vessels secured to it, and makes the county's piers more accessible and amenable to alternative forms of use, that of the traditional fishing industry. The provision of pontoons is restricted to shelter facilities with calm waters, and they cannot be exposed to Atlantic waves. A pontoon will only require a minimum depth of 0.5 metres at low tide to be sufficient for leisure industry use, such as rowing, sailing schools, kayaking, access sneakers to water for swimming, snorkeling, and so was very versatile. For visiting yachts, you require a depth closer to 2.5 metres at low tide. Before commencing on a pontoon or marina development, we need to consider a number of key questions. The scope and scale and objective of the project. 
Where can the project be situated? What is needs in terms of access, location, etc.? Is the chosen site suitable for a scale and scope of development planned? Is there scope for future expansion of the development? Are there alternative sites available? Is there a plan or strategy in existence that would should guide location and scale? Will the local authority, community, and others be supportive of the project? What the different market needs and demand for the planned developments? Is the project likely to attract finance? Is it an economic proposition? What is the co competition like? What permissions or licenses are needed for such development? And what technical expertise is needed to develop the project concept and guide it through to the implementation? Is the site in proximity to the designated environmentally sensitive area? Most marine leisure marina type developments, depending on scale, will include elements of the following. Concept development, so that's consultation with the local authorities, Department of Marine, the Department of Housing, Planning, Local Government, and the National Parks and Wildlife Service. Design and technical feasibility analysis, obtaining planning permission, obtaining a foreshore lease or license, possible requirement for environmental impact assessment, a supply contract is tendered using e-tenders website for all contracts greater than 25,000. While professional advisors, advisors should be at all times, guidelines for planning a marina development as published by Marine Institute give good advice and guidance for, for, for these. The development of a good network of coast facilities has the potential to increase marine tourism and recreational activity, as well as offer improved amenity and leisure benefits. A well-planned project should ultimately lead to marine leisure facility designed to meet the highest safety and quality standards in harmony with the principles of sustainable development. Larger industrial pontoons suitable for larger vessels and breakwaters and constructed from concrete, while smaller pontoons from marine le leisure industry are usually fabricated from steel and fiberglass materials, and these were normally provided with polystyrene floats. Once the pontoon has been designed, purchased, and delivered to site, the main construction elements required are the crane lift and securing the pontoon. In order to lift the pontoon and into the water, a crane lift, crane lift plan must be prepared. Lifting operations need to be pro properly planned by a competent person who has both practical and theoretical knowledge and who has expertise of planning lifts. There are two methods of securing pontoons. Preferred method is to fix the pontoon to the pier structure with vertical steel rails, allowing the pontoon to rise and fall with the tide. The alternative is to use concrete anchors to secure the pontoon where there is no adjoining structure. The design will determine the anchor weight and chain length, and it is always advisable to mount the chains in a crisscross configuration. Donegal County Council staff have been competent to undertake these works. Donegal County Council currently has eight pontoon facilities in place. Three of these are permanently located at Greencastle, Donegal Town, Ardra, while the remaining five are seasonal mobile pontoons and are located at Greencastle, Teelan, Mount Charles, Balawarski and Fanet, and Bonnegay. These pontoons must be removed each, each October and returned to the water in late spring, as there is insufficient shelter at these Pier Harbour locations in winter months. You can see there Donegal Town pontoons. And the uh, Bonnegay Pier pontoons are a recent um, de development there. And the uh, Greencastle Harbour pontoons with uh, mostly visiting yachts in place there. The council is at various stages of preparation with respect to the planned delivery of a further four permanent pontoon facilities. And these are at Beaver, and Mulroy Bay, Burton Port, Bunbeg, bon and at Ballyshannon. Beaver and Mulroy Bay has significant vessel activity, but completely insufficient facility support this leisure activity. This development is, is, is happening alongside the existing Uthrasna Gaelpil facility there, which is the boatyard. So again, it's an excellent location with demand. Burton Port Harbour, this, this harbour has changed from a traditional fishing harbour with more marine traffic generated by leisure industry. And again, facilities need to be enhanced and modernized there to, to make them more user friendly. There are various funding opportunities. Donegal could apply annually for, to the, the DAFN Department of Marine, to BIM, and to run the Gilthitha and, and projects of state 
and the state of readiness for construction and application process are open. In most cases, the design and planning process costs must be borne by the council. So the various um, projects carried out in recent years, funded by um, Thielen and by Department of Marine, Donegal Town, funded by uh, BIM Flag in 2019, Greencastle, funded by Department of Marine, and also by Leader, Mount Charles, funded by Department of Marine, Bonnegui, funded by Special EU Programme, uh, our draft funded by BIM also 2019, Balawarski and Fanad funded by Donegal County Council, and MEVA again is proposed to apply to um, Department of Marine for funding there in 2021. Donegal County Council markets its marine tourism facilities through a variety of channels, including www.sailing.ie, cruising, visitor moorings, at the Boot Dusseldorf show in Germany, 2016, 17, 18, and 19, at Seafest, Ireland's Marine Tourism Festival, held in Galway, 2016, 17, 18, and in Cork, 2019, at the Hooked Festival, Killy Beggs, 2018, and 19, Donegal Food Festival, 2018, and 19, and the Council's Donegal Tourism Brochure, which is an annual production, which carries a chapter on our water activities and the cruise tours and brochure produced by the county. Uh, supply of service. There are currently 50 power supply units located at 25 piers and harbours along Donegal coastline with, with no remote access, no direct purchase system and no management tools. The power supply system is activated by a ticket system with tickets only available to, for purchase at the Council of Public Service Centres at Dunlow, Donegal Town and Karen Dunna. This is a significant inconvenience and indeed a poor level of service provided by Council's Harbour users. In the case of visiting, visiting leisure craft, there's additional cost and inconvenience of taxi service to or from the nearest public service centre to avail of power supply tickets. For the fishing fleet, current arrangements adds time and cost to operational business. In relation to water supply for customers, the same is currently provided from taps to the pier with no regulation on use of conscious supply. There's a limited income generated due to lack of monitoring system and direct supervision arrangements currently in place. It's a regular occurrence that water taps are left running and, and so on, resulting in resource wastage and increased costs to the council. The council intends to install a harbour supplies management system with new pedestal outlets for power outlets and dispense water supply. The units will be remotely controlled. Purchase of power of supply of services will be via an app with the PayPal services for payment at the pedestal on site, significant, significantly improving customer service and income generation capacity of the council in relation to the service delivered. The harbour supplies management system and associate pedestal will transform the supply of water and power supply to our customers. Simplifying the access to the supplies improves user engagement opportunities through information feedback and reporting as value to Donegal County Council in terms of customer satisfaction and income collection. Project reduces interaction with others to deliver the service and is so is COVID-19 resilient. The harbour management, harbour supply management is a solution for prepayment of electrical services and water services, which includes for the provision of new enclosures at each site, with new switch gear meters offering better warranties and service. And that completes what I want to say about um, what we're doing in Donegal. Fantastic. Yeah. Spear for your spatial um call. And I guess um number of questions in for both on the beaches as well, but I might just quickly go to the, the um I guess we wanted to hear about your work on the pontoons because lots of people, you know, you hear people say, Oh, you know, you know what you should do. I love when people say, you know what you should do. Um, you know, you should uh build pontoons or build piers and you'll get people. I think it's a very interesting market because um People, sailors by their nature will come and they'll sp sp spend a night in the area, they spend well by, uh, and maybe Orla Woods can talk a bit about that. They're good visitors and they're good tourists and they respect the area and the water. Um, and I think it's an interesting option to look at for people. But of course, it's not as straightforward as let them come in and tie up their boat. There's obviously a lot behind that. And it's great that you shared so much information with us on that. Um, there's a lot to it and there's a uh, cost involved as well. And just one question for you that I'd have on that call is did those developments come from? Locals getting in touch with you? Was this part of a vision the County Council had? Was it sailors saying we really want to be able to pull in 
here and I know there was a European program that was that, that, that was part of that. Where do the initi initiatives come from? And I'm asking that with respect to people in the room or at the seminar who might be thinking that might be good for us. Do we go to our local authority? Did, was it all driven by yourselves or were there communities involved in that? Uh, no, there, there, are, there are various um, there, there are various, various requirements. A lot of them are driven by locals. A lot of them we, we identify ourselves. For example, um, at, at MIVA and um, in Mulroy Bay, we're aware there's a shelter facility. It's a facility that's been operated by Udris the Gaeta there for a number of years where they have a boatyard. Because it's such a sheltered lo location, people have identified it as, as a suitable location to keep their, to moor their, their vessels and so on. And it's basically mostly for mooring and getting access. However, we recognize that there are no suitable facilities. And while we would, we would have had some requests by local users to improve the facilities, we ourselves look at it. We recognize what the best solutions would be, what the type of users are. We, we identify them as more leisure users than commercial users. And we, we, we assess it, we assess it on, on that basis. And we try and design the best solution. At Donegal Town and Mount Charles, for example, the facilities there would, would have been, would have come from local, local groups like rowing groups and le leisure users and um, the Dragon Club there and so on. They would request better facilities for getting access to rowboats and leisure boats and canoes and sailing boats and so on. At Teelan in um, southwest Donegal, we would have provided the pontoon there basically for um, for an operator who is carrying out uh, ch charters and um, mainly visit, visiting um, Slave League and so on, Slave League charters. We would have provided the pontoon there again for, for better access to his vessel. For, for, by Thielen would have been a traditional pier for traditional fishing, not suitable for handling large amounts of passengers. So again, pontoon is provided there to make it more user friendly. Uh, Greencastle then in Bonnie facilities there would be provided more for, vis for visiting yachts and specifically for visiting yachts. Um, because again, we don't have the same demand and requirement or the same facilities at on the, on the west coast as we do along, along our north or northeast coast so we're, we're able to do that there the visitor moorings then we provide all along the west coast again we identify places where, where yachts want, want to pull in and okay. that's more important places like that okay thanks we've well, a lot of questions coming in here but i just want to go back to um it's probably david free will answer this one rather than or maybe uh, or maybe um john will a few a lot of interest in um beach buggies and um not beach buggies sorry on motorized vehicles on the beach i want to ask about that um are the regulators so one of the questions here all the regulations applying to quad bikes are enforced by the garda um uh, so this is the answer somebody's asked about what happens with um quads and motorbikes on the beaches while people are out enjoying the beaches um and one well, of the answers that was put up was that regulations for quad bikes are enforced by Angar the Shia Khan and anybody concerned needs to contact them directly. And then somebody else answered, is it the same for jet skis? And do, I don't know if they couldn't see the Gardaí, um, maybe they do, do they, if, if there's complaints about on water activity, who do you go for for that, um, um, John or maybe David? Well, well, there is the Coast Guard as well. Um, and we have lifeguards on the 21 designated bathing areas may have um, look any, any particular activities can be reported through through lifeguards who can contact the Coast Guard and look I suppose you just have to try and deal with these things as best you can yeah, um, yeah. you know as you say the, I don't know if the guards are going to go into the water like but um, you know there's a process things. there and there's yeah there's, yeah, there's no there point to probably head on either I would imagine um, but if you want to make your place attractive and, and peaceful and, and, and whatever, there's all of those issues to be dealt with. Um, That's right. There are course, lifeguards on be on beaches to, to talk to people as well, you know, and, and, and try to bring common sense into, into the situation. That, that's when the beaches are busy, but I guess there's off season as well. But um yeah. Okay, just another question here on the on the on the um, beach wheelchairs. Um uh, so how do you do people book them or who runs does the book in advance or how do they get hold of them how do they how do you manage that facility with the beach wheelchairs which of course are relevant to people even if they're not in a wheelchair normally but have poor poor um mobility um it's a huge it's a much easier way to get onto the sand how do you manage that uh 
Well, there are there are individuals who who take charge of the beach wheelchair service, and and uh, they work closely again with with the lifeguards and David to um to to make make contacts available and booking information available. Um, look, I would say David. I'm not sure if David might not have the speaker, but he 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 would be more um in the know of exactly the logistics of how that's rolled out. Um, on mute there. You may be able to step in there, David. Can you hear us? He, he may he may put a text up about how that happens. He might be having a microphone issue, but no, he's here. Hi, David. Oh. I think I um I have to apologize for the technology, but it turns out it's Zoom's fault. I'm not sure if you're looking at my face with all of this or if you're seeing a logo of the bail thought. Either way, I guess. It would be nice to see the real people speaking, but apologies for that. Um, okay, uh, an issue here about secure, uh, security, and most yacht owners are reluctant to leave a, a yacht worth 100,000 or more, I would think, at a fishing harbour with no, with no facilities. So security for yachts, again, that's another issue you'd never think of that has to be thought about. But um, um, And that's another reason for maybe limited marina. Yeah, that's something worth, worth um, examining further. It's probably, um, yeah, um, I'm not sure what happens normally in the likes of um, uh, Bonagui or even Killy Beggs. If you, I mean, who's watching them or who's watching your boats? I don't know if people can answer that. If you know that, um, yeah, we have we have we have some facilities. Some of our facilities will have CCTV. For example, some of our facilities have have, have full time harbour masters. Well, when full time is nine to, or eight to four, so uh, we we have at Port Port Greencastle, for example, we have. Uh, permanent harbour masters and CCTV. So, um, okay. Yeah, obviously, as an issue, Bonnie for example, we don't. So you can understand uh, our piers and harbours. They're, they're public facilities, so um, you know there there's it's access for for, for everyone. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, sometimes they, they can get overcrowded, and sometimes you know you you, you can tie up where you can basically. Okay, look, we've lots of questions in, but we need to move on, I'm afraid, but it's a great subject. I think something we might even explore in more detail again. Um, somebody just has asked, maybe either, either sorry, John or David, you'd put up the URL for the Blue Flag Beaches. Please put it into the chat room. So we can get that. So, um, look, thank you very much to, to all from the County Council with us this morning. Um, we'll, our next speaker today is Orla Woods, who had a bit of technical difficulty getting in, but hopefully we can hear her now. Um, we won't be able to see her, but we'll see her presentation. Orla is with Faucha Ireland, um, and Faucha have rode in, excuse the pun, on all our pro all our sessions because, of course, they cover the whole, all areas of tourism. So today it's all, Orla that's with us, and she'll talk about the Blue Ways, um, which I think is a fascinating um, and really interesting development. We talk about our greenways, but uh, obviously the potential on the sea is huge um, and it uh, doesn't have to be limited to the summer. So she'll talk a bit to bring us to that and hopefully um, it'll inform you. And then we'll have Noreen, you will, you will down it from Aaron Moore, who will talk about the practical application of a blue way and the work they're going through. So I think you should hopefully have the full picture after that. So uh, Orla, I'll hand it over to you if you're okay and good to go. Yeah, Goramaha got a Maeve. Um, August Steve Galair, um, Maradur to Maeve, Ismish Orla Woods, Asphalt Erin, August Tao Hazaram Aven Sean, you can kind of blue ways, no Schliegerum. Um, we're having, oh yes, just see the slides coming up now, Maeve. And Katie is going to be my roulette collette if anyone is of a certain uh, generation who remember her. Um, so uh, just uh, slide two, please, Katie. That's great. That's great. And Katie, Karen. if you put it into presentation mode so it's a bigger screen for people to see with the hell. Um Coach A Bun. Sinead, Gormagas, Katie. Um, so why blue ways? Well, 71% of the planet is covered by water, and water is fundamental to life. It's a large component of the human body, and we are innately connected to water. And numerous pieces of research have shown that being on, in or near water is one of the simplest and most cost effective ways of reducing stress and anxiety. And many more of us have discovered the calming effects of being near water during the pandemic. Next slide. So who or what is the Blue Way Partnership? 
Well, the Blue Wave Partnership driving this initiative is an all island body comprising Waterways Ireland, Tourism Northern Ireland and Fulcha Ireland in conjunction with the national gover not governing bodies for sport, Sport Ireland and Sport Northern Ireland. And all of these partners are committed to the development of Blue Wave sites across the island of Ireland in the coming years. Next slide, please. The Blue Way Development and Management Guide was developed following a review of international, international best practice. And this work was undertaken by Outlaw Recreation Northern Ireland, a not-for-profit organization who work with a wide range of organizations which have an interest in or involvement with outdoor recreation. And you can view both the summary guide and the more detailed document at the, uh, the website given there, that's bluewaydevelopment.org, and that's the uh, website for Blue Way developers. You'll also find the application form there to apply for accreditation. Um, so if you have any uh, questions or you want to know about what sort of process is involved, all the questions are included in the forms there. So, so do go in, please, and have, have a look at the resources that are in on that website. Um, next slide, please, Katie. So you can see the definition of a Blue Way at the top of the slide there. They are a network of approved and branded multi-activity recreational trails and sites based on and closely linked with the water, together with providers facilitating access to activities and experiences. And at the core of the Blue Way offering is a series, is a series of accredited and branded trails on and alongside the water. Central to the Blue Way concept is the availability of a water trail or site, hence the term Blue Way. Land-based trails such as wild walking and cycling with strong connectivity to the water must also complement the water trails. So with the strap line, Blue Way, do it your way, the ethos of the Blue Ways Ireland brand is to encourage active participation in outdoor recreation by offering a range of activity options and making it as easy as possible for all ages and abilities to engage in visitor experiences in a suitable and safe environment. Blue Ways are targeted at the dabbler or novice, so the offering should appeal to those with limited skills or experience. And the rationale for the brand is to package saleable experiences, so that's half day, full day or short day packages, to, to encourage exploration of the waterways and increase visitor dwell time in the area. The the Blue Ways experience is enriched by promoting it within the context of local culture, heritage, arts, and artisan food offerings. It is a partnership between public and private sectors with service providers and tourism businesses combining soft adventure or slow tourism experiences such as co guided canoe trips, stand-up paddleboarding, bicycle hire, together with visitor services such as accommodation, food, food attractions, and toilets. And Blue Ways should be planned, developed, and manage to ensure their sustainability. At a minimum, a blue way should avoid any negative impact on the environment and ideally add or improve the environment through education and access. So what is a dabbler? Well, this is the target customer for, for blue ways, a dabbler or a novice. While an expert canoeist or paddle boarder will be very much focused on the activity itself, for the dabbler, the destination and all the supporting experiences play a much more significant role. So they'll be looking for a Blue Way experience in a scenic destination on sheltered waters with an experienced guide who can provide that reassurance that makes them feel safe and comfortable to allow them to immerse themselves and enjoy the experience. Next slide, please, Katie. As I previously mentioned, international benchmarking was carried out by Outdoor Recreation Northern Ireland to identify the key components of a successful and sustainable Blue Way. And the recommendation was that a holistic approach should be adopted, encompassing all, encompassing all aspects of the visitor experience. So in terms of the experience, it does it offer a range of activity options to allow visitors to explore and engage in the landscape, heritage and culture of the area? In terms of safety, is risk being appropriately managed? On the technical side, does the trail infrastructure and signage follow best practice? And at a minimum, does the Blue Way avoid any negative impact on the environment? Or ideally, how does it add to or improve the environment? And in terms of access, will the Blue Way be open and accessible for public use for at least 10 years following accreditation? And in terms of sustainability, 
are there management structures, partnerships, plans and processes in place to ensure that the Blue Way can continue to meet the required standard in a sustainable manner? Um, next slide, please, Katie. So just take a minute to have a look at the pictures um, and the copy. Um, I think the, the pictures there support the copy on the right hand side. So just take a moment to have a read through those and have a scan through some of the pictures. So as you can see there, Blue Ways are about much more than just activities. It's a holistic experience, a combination of history, culture, food, accommodation, the nighttime economy, and businesses need to work together to develop packages that will attract visitors to the area. Itineraries which give a variety of activity options that increase dwell time and thus spend are essential. Next slide, please. So why should you consider becoming an accredited Blue Way? Okay, in terms of the brand, well, brands and logos are shorthand symbols for us. With a brand, we know what we are getting. There is consistency and a standard. And one of the key benefits of becoming an accredited Blue Way is access to the official Blue Way brand and logo. And the brand can be used in information, in signage, and in marketing. And the Blue Way brand succinctly communicates to your potential customers the type of experience they can expect to have. In terms of the quality standard, by signing up to the quality standard, key stakeholders can be reassured that a best practice approach is being implemented. And these may include key decision makers within your organization, key funders, local community and business. And in addition, an approved brand is much more marketable. In terms of promotion, accreditation boosts awareness of Blue Ways and awareness will further grow as more Blue Ways are developed. Visitors who have a positive experience on an accredited Blue Way will be naturally attracted to visit others. An accreditation provides greater opportunities to access funding. The Blue Way partnership will continue to highlight the importance and benefits of Blue Way accreditation to relevant funding schemes such as the Outdoor Recreation Infrastructure Scheme and the Rural Regeneration Development Fund. And Blue Way developers can also use accreditation to attract funding locally for additional developments and services. Next slide, please. There are a few important points uh, I would like to bring to your attention around uh, Blue Way development, and they're bullet pointed there on the left hand side. While the spark of an idea uh, for a Blue Way may come from the community and gain momentum locally, a statutory body such as a local authority. Uh, or Waterways Ireland must be the formal applicant to the Blue Way accreditation process. And also developing a Blue Way is a long-term commitment. So there needs to be genuine buy-in from all parts of the community and local businesses. Next slide, please. So this slide shows the area of the Sure Blue Way, which is well advanced in the accreditation process. This, uh, this shows how a Blue Way trail does not have to encompass the entire area or waterway. However, each component trail should offer an attractive proposition in its own right. So you can see there on the top right, the River Sure, one of the three sisters, flows for 185 kilometers. But the Blue Way trail makes up just 53 kilometers of this. The visitor's optimum time commitment to a Blue Way will be between half a day to one day. Therefore, the activity experiences should cater to this. And the entire Blue Way proposition may offer several half day to one day options, and these should be clearly identified in visitor information through itineraries. A dabbler or a novice will, of course, cover less ground in half a day than an expert. And this table on the bottom left gives an estimate of the dis distance covered by a novice over a half day for different activities. Next slide, please. This map of Loch Derg uh, shows the on-water paddling trails dotted all along, uh, all around the loch. 
As mentioned previously, a blue way trail does not have to encompass the entire area or waterway. So for example, the Loch Derg Blue Way, which is well advanced in the accreditation process and is likely to be the first approved um, blue way in the country, is comprised of several component blue way trails. So for example, on land, we have the Portumna Forest Walking Trails and on the water, the Mount Shannon to Holy Island Paddling Trail. And these more sheltered locations on the lake would have been chosen due to their suitability for the dabbler. And to draw my presentation to an end, we are just going to finish with a short video about the Loch Derg Blue Way. Is it working, Katie? Don't worry, Katie. No. If, it, if it's not working, don't work. It's it's all right. Don't worry about it. Um, but you you'll find it, it's actually on YouTube. If you if you if anyone wants to go and have a look at YouTube, um, you'll find the Loch Derg Blue Way there. So so go and have have a look at that. And Shine or Derser. Good morning, Dorla. Shine her clean. On spatial or fun. And I think we'll, we'll talk to Noreen first and hear what she has to say. And then we have a group questions from the Blue Way. Then after that, um, what the Shinkart Blue Way like Achtena. So, Grandma Gatorla, Rafa Zaraiga, Noreen and Ish. Noreen, will come and Shin. I was like, Lushin Boo, Mudge. Shin and Shin. I was like, Colonel Horeki. So, upon Noreen, um, Lonnie and Ilan are on war. I've gone to the Nagal. August, uh, the Lohar, Elor, and Froshesh, Han, um, Chirp, Squeal, Alas, and Noreen, Ish, and Avinu, Led the Hell. For Neil and Mahabat, Noreen. Hello, and back in Shivan Coral. Back in was a Bertha, Anna Seller, Grandma Hagot. In the Grammy Midas. Well, Smission Nori Baldoni, a customer go burn my one issue, our Corkoman and an iron board, the creeper in the Jag Lewis. When you and Corkoman, what I wish for the Pubman, a Sashak Frost and a Pubman and Ellen, the Jag Shark was a shank. I cut a letter shawl, because I guessed you come because she's the other, and the Caymana, and cut Higgy, and the Zandolkin kin at the Jam to Ogina. From Blue Way at Arbridge, and that Alan Moore was out to call in her chill mood. Oh, Nilan. Oh, Nilan. Just a slamming shot in there is called Nilan, and was out to call in. One in the Gnevia of the Mara, then could you smoke, let's imagine that in the boy at Fallon Track that a year in Nana. I was born in the Cossum, the Shulogy. She didn't the grievy of the or hollow lishanellum, for my lishanet with agonum by the jeer, or two more shishan, as you had him. Having the by the jeer at Aaron Moore, I conceived the factor shaw, it was a shaw and punchy rock dinner, it was a net in the one, the cane, it was a shlaman, but could you smoke in the grievy of the murder? Not be much in a goal, we will eat his or vassal. Much <laughs> I am very really, I was kind of much of a what kind of much of this very much of the area of the and as kind of popular or but no capacity building severely. Here go the day with the Mara, the Carson of the Shirogy, in the tower of the Kofada, as the one in Shetler Blue Ways. We share Salyan on either Tizar Vasnu, who won the Hashan and Ella Kotawata, just the grave of the Adar Fire and Blue Way. Makasawal Bielana, Lost Geneva, Kora Sumper, Infrastructure, Kayana. Schlaunen and his light is fubbly. And he has to be the fragile juggling, now Kayakum and very much Abbott and the week finish, a one in the eat, stay and play a whole year. And this time is for punch you. My hunch the narratives we are in Mapalianum and a hashing of the Gleevee of the other. Because we are in Gleevee of the Strath and the hashing of the Gleevee of the other. The Shulogy of the Gleevee 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 Call of the Fire and Tractor, and the Shirley 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 Shirley
Ahan Le, and his Pinchus the Fiji Shaw, the Le, the Lenin Terry, at the Rende Agia. On an unshed and shawlish the tree came at her guest the four Bajianu at Edith's or Blue Way. The Mugina it came at all. Tanshaw of the Schlem and Shaw are flying or see by the rain sport Ireland at the Tanshaw of Igbon and Schlemna. Then they came in a rant in a year hudge. The bunning and major to Igbar Gat Gat came, Lishin Group of Forbana, at the Sunnan and Dara Lesh, Dara La, Lishin Porus Kigaretta. Major Lishin Lenin and Blue May. Jane much go a couple of lads and Gilligan, a hoary at the Nature, a list of cheer. Free Gardamon, the Bala Gardamon, the Garden Valla on, a Tankesh Addy, a good Lishin Kigar, Major Lad and Gilligan Offigan. The lag and gliding get off your in the tag of the Bidog, the Kanila Hawana, the act of the Janga, off your Holinu and Hobia. A Jerry Yavi does need Jed, we call far cheap in the blue ways, a glacular hero to Shavasanu. We imagine a jag will cost you people at another, it is now she horror. Then to much a lake, go to Jessin to up on Krisha at a lake, it is language in the shoring to a one on the Kamehine, it is one of much cost you to. The process is a little bit of 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 Agus tagul a festum go mbeidh scéal ar ais agus tibh stíde chop na mí. Harla cúbh de ní jed agus fuair mo jáis a lasc ag túsan tairí nári. Bí chilí wallach maidhlas an frama tagus a dhí. Dáide mo jin chéist fi cé apu an mbeidh gáil is dúirt feidhleachta agus tagul a festum go rón coma ar go rón feidhleachta a bhain sléis an iríthas agus sléis an blue way. Bog mo jiré go cé mo dál. Lahan much come of Taki of the Yawlan, a Gusgroga, Colory Yapu, on the Taki of the Horror Fire. For much folder, a retend as a glorid master hand of Colory, from Plan Forbana, Banish Yapa, and the Margie of the Blue Way, a Corrigan of Hella. For much a star or Jones's leader, on the Colory of Yapu, Caddy and Jones's, a Guscapu, the Colory, Customer Service Excellence Ireland, from Dolomon Libre. A few less than a stream for COVID in the Jab with a vein, had a giddy of mileage in the colliery, the Spreckner of Ilacama, a one shaman. Then process colliery and fear how it did. The Chimple Shaft session for a gay up with the G Shawlers and the Pubble, the Shapubble, and the Pubble and the Lamp of the Secure Moor, a mile of Dark in the Man's Dull. The crew who cast the ledger done blew away the Iron Moor, it was a glare in the Bontage Social to have a Gnamiata, a Gnamiata, done Ellen of his ear or Honda. The new Huey Airborne up in Fulahar and the Hespers of Thelon, Fulahar, Agus Nafajati and the Tagbunch of Forbush and Blue Way, Lynn the Tree, the Quick, the Vlint at Hamar Hall. The Tim Plan Ray, Shaw Mutsha Edith, from Credit and Oshma. The Shaw made the Bunch of Mahogan, Shaw has made a Talib Bunch of Mahogan before. By much Credit and a Bunch of Mahogan, Agus Nishan, Walking Much Contasi, the G. Kramich, Kramich Tree, on a Taluch and Shaw. Agus is dúlóg a mhúin mar sin a mar fi éirí na bhféin a shó. Sin a lig wimsa agus gur mír maith agus mór gur jama. Gur mír maith agus anóirí bhí sin fíor spéisiúil agus níor tobhar ag éisc leis ar nóí agus is tar as éis sheol chuig seachas cúnamh scríbe. Cúpla cúisín seo. One quick question for you, Orla. Can I just only wondering today? Do they start with Fáilte Ireland or with Sports Ireland or with their local community? Where, where does that journey begin? Um, if this is something that, that somebody wants to kind of to, to, to get started on. Yeah, no, the details are on. If you go into just bluewaydevelopment.org, the contact details are in there. It's actually through Sport Ireland is the okay. initial application. The, uh, the, in, the inspector has been appointed by the um, Blue Way Partnership, but it's an independent inspector by the name of Humphrey Murphy, and he is an independent consultant. But uh, yeah, it's, it's Sport Ireland it goes through. So have a look at bluewaydevelopment.org and you'll get the details there. And in a way, I guess, just kind of summarising for it, it it's, it's a... A collection of all that's really just probably tangibilizing what's there already or bringing things together that are there and then maybe tweaking it 
topping and tailing of extra facilities that makes the whole thing kind of come together. But without, I presume, without enterprises on the ground and people with their businesses um, and things to see, it, things to do, you, you, the yeah. things to see isn't enough. We need the whole package. So it's, it, it's a real mix of kind of community, uh, local authority and private, private enterprises, I suppose, coming together. Absolutely. I mean, the one thing we've no shortage of is water in this country. And it's about tapping into that potential. There's very, you know, there doesn't need to be a huge amount of infrastructural development. A lot of it is already there. The, the, the infrastructural developments are relatively small in terms of accessing the water, but the actual resource is there. But yes, it's a conduit. I think people should think of Blue Ways as a conduit. Um, a way of which to, to explore the destination, to see it from a different perspective, maybe from the water, uh, looking back up onto the land, um, and, a, and a way of having maybe a different type of experience, or probably a slower experience. If you're out in a canoe or paddle boarding, you're going to have a slightly slower experience than you might have in the same destination on land. So I think it's just looking at it and seeing how you can develop it to, to fit into your uh, a de destination. But absolutely, Maeve, it is a holistic offering. You cannot just put uh, the water trail in place and expect that that's going to be sufficient for people. It's not. And I guess also you'd, it's a thing to hang your business on, I suppose, or your idea and things like the lighthouses developing. And we were involved in a project, but the, but the Spanish Lighthouse obviously at the top there, which is a huge success and they're constantly evolving. But there's other projects being developed along the along the Blue Way with lighthouses and whether the lighthouse is to come and learn about the area or to eat there, or to stay there or whatever. The sea again is your common theme, I guess, to hang your 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 offer. Well, it's it's it's, uh, it's sites and trails. So we refer, when we look at coastal locations, we refer to them as sites, and we look at inland, we look at, at trails. So um, it's water trails. So you're looking at you know a whole spectrum of water uh, on water um, you know interest or uh, uh, water resources. So it could be canals, it can be rivers, it can be lakes, and it can be coastal sites. Great. It sounds like a lot of it's on the website anyway, the resource, um, and uh, we put that link up again before the end. And, and just maybe, if anyone wants to contact, contact me, sorry, I should have put my name up there. It's orla.woods, O-R-L-A dot woods at fulchireland.ie. If anyone has any questions, please don't hesitate to drop me a line. Great. We put that up on the chat. Um, I think that's very interesting. Um, and uh, Yeah, fascinating, really, what's out there. And given the COVID and the challenges and when COVID goes, there'll be other challenges people want to be outside and outdoors and this this ticks us there's, off there's never been a better time or a greater appetite for being in the outdoors we've we've learned how much we need it and how much we appreciate it in these times and our session next thursday will have some operators talking about their water sports businesses and how they're doing that and selling them and um, i guess we've talked about putting fabulous uh, accessible uh, chairs on the beach we've talked about building fabulous pontoons we're going to do blue ways and how do we fund it and but no, we, as I said at the beginning, um, uh, the concepts are there and then you look at how we fund them and how we can get them off the ground. And there's lots of ways to do that and we won't answer all the questions, but come on a sauce the will, more it's, you know, tourist than as the IM, the Connarty and Clark flag, they thought our shoot or our fall or foot and post, the Begalor, all the Sagdini and Sean, you wheat flag. They can feel our touch of boom that the fish I guess gets a reach on the inch of hugging, but a shin rot, the shit of the plush top we flag, there's a guest flesh, call in the Zeshni, I guess, ain't sampling. I thought on the dark clock, so um, care that I didn't think Hubble knew a dini, knew a gnoni, hun, so the bands as an as an kish to shin. So, Martin, with one shin, I was a glutton to me. What do I shin? Baltimore, squeal me lat, hun, the curlorian of um, August, exuga more uh, 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 yeah, 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 I think you're far but far but uh yes key cloudy the condor uh can name sheer go 
cool, uh, cool here, here to be in them. I just can in the role in the dam, not not to take a the the scheme flag the story. Growing star, my all at a flag, custom flag, a hobby, the story, hobby, she did. Thompson to go a bush head, uh, hobby, you know, I guess we shake hunter up in Thompson. Uh, in two skirts, your hoose, and your ear has, uh, said, oh, oh, yes, I guess I'm here who I wish I'm bush at the Viaka, but I'm sure the blame to Burgess and Paul William. A chin story, awesome flag, a false, I guess, a hobby, the shade, uh, could you, uh, story, Bishu, flag, oh, yes, uh, come the. Harkov's come by here, he saw some in the dark lights. I guess she shocking the flag in the Anna Thompson. I guess Ardun Bush had Suska Havilin Yeg, so can all it is it Havil, the Sidoyans, Havil, the Sidig, Suska Havil, the Sidig, Shadig, but then I'm Fekal. I skip a Ross story, a nail of the VA, I guess. I guess the day to Ross and Bushhead. So I'm going to finish Harvey with the Fiki here. I guess my dear Maeve Miss Lloyd said, I'm going to finish Fiki Fiki here. 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 So I'm going to finish Fiki Fiki here. I guess I'm going to finish Fiki Fiki here. I'm going to take out the so just slam sample at uh in just the P Hartney show uh the story my all good boss uh webinar free Taurus or of Mara Bader Man and we did a piece of shame Sahir Hartz Gorka uh Korkra uh so Mike and two I just moved on Karchin. It's it's. The Malishke Marchin. He took Bogorai and Shlaun on. What's going on? Which is the Bogorai that's new? Okay, five technical new five operator problems. Operator. One sec. Which is Bogi Rai Nish? Neil. One second. Which is Bogi Rai Chal? One second. Just stop my stop my. I just lost my reach there. Okay. Mae'r ton caid yn ffwm dyna gilwyr os oes i'r tafod o'ch yn pictur eich o gyma. Ok, fech yn dweud sy'n. Fech yn dweud sy'n. Dept gwyd sy'n. Ni sy'n y presentation mod pas sy'n... Ys cwm, ta'n ddana eich o. Ta'n sy'n bywch yn dweud. Ta ma ddweud fech o'ch o'ch llawn o'n cion. Ta ad fi'l ahor cyn cion o'ch tatws. So ta'n ddweud o'ch 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 Bronar Macharza, Freedom of the Shogs, the Rivray, a Fiam, Hagan, the Five Nisha Sources, Toha. I guess Kikosh is Nishabay, which are, yeah, Shingabra. I started out. Both these presentations to more than Hamasana Echo. Ta bronam ta nid ilin gudun in chaf fi laid ma. So ke hole fool mu chinu veiv. He's far more hard. So kunyarth agus ma. Sit and share ma ha mama stop me hua kunyarth. Yeah. So just planning we did it in piece of corker than than than. Here be hard to change fun. Shall Robbie just made it grab yeah grab cave doye togra way on Arnold Tarsa Mara a glue. Uh, was getting million. So, Spanish, I will throw a sort of mark which for me should crush that a scheme flag. I guess bug my eye in a street on my bug eye. I can do chain the tarvi. The colour the pipe, the sunscreen mal pipe, the ancient chin. What is this? Because came from here, the slow, hard meal. Because she's the every day group of pipe, as current as she. 
uh, yeah, and yeah, Kim Shah Lan, Yana Juan, and Oh, yeah. Yeah, Katie, Can you let the Martin? Yeah, so So we must, yeah, Shalan, Sabron and Fishin, uh, Hardy. So we must hands for in, for in, uh, for in action, for in, uh, uh, land of Fian, because go, go back into Kedatarlo's notes at the two, uh, uh, courts on. So it's just in the sort of action, I guess. Come on, the Sample Yellow Fisheries, uh, local action group, Funk IE, my branches was in Ever Sieve, Italy, and Shin. Agus uh Hama on 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 well <laughs> Mine 
Fisheries-local-action-group.ie Yow to a shaft in the the cancer flag and the team from the tide. I receive it. Jilin chin yow to the sunry tango. Like if if we go on, we mahol yaki look the team from the tide. We own and all so the team from the tide. Look the shaft are any on. I guess the most only sauce the could you the irta shori the 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 catch the bit. I could no kona a horse or the. Tears this in the understair. Ah, she need she need a little Okay, Martin. Come on, in. For me, the the initiative is to just smart from the stoker and play the agony. River shelf we flag. The stoker cake will shed do and finish. Don't you arm the beanie bag. Purpose and quench up. I was a Sean's Amanish de Bay or Flay Bazer, Leshna, Leshna Family Flag, no Pedanella, the most tober soon to Sahai Mardurn to basically call a rave spads we never do spot a bit like Shif Shik behind Arrogant Mora for her or level on Mina Tashi for Lorak. So Aunt Tobot and Tober Flay with Ray Shahazade, Kershahirthus, Gan, Ganashin, and the Agus and Shin Kern Shilish and Pirithus, Agus Leshon, Dohuloch, Ganairo Flesh Fresh, and Moss Face Mission or the Hunsa Martin. Sure, I'll say, sure, I'll say, yeah. But there are many added on Blee and the Gimmock, the Skid, the Delibemish, the Fiki Fiki dogs, Ben, 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 Flag, Oscar, just so. We are the Hutz or Bali Denta, I guess, I guess, the Hutz Winter, Curly Hale, I guess, Big Urela, Fiki Fiki dogs, do it. In Tarafal. Gramil Madawarts, in the Spanner in the QA, Sarin's catch near the Taki still, so far as gone or on. Ah, they, the Tonasunri, um, they should show us our YouTube. I was fresh in Malta. Should we give you Ain Sunri Tagwal behind the kind story? Tara Rash Aganyak Sire Gudros Stata Yino Agamsa. Um, I was based on the Sunri Oh and Tilly Keshni Fe Agus. My championship goal Ain with the top Fates and Sholin Grafu Tilla. They in the Gazbazi Grafu Kong and the Harbor of Hoykal. I was Nice Boo Play. I was in the version of Fates and Shinian. And we do hope to take some of the subjects and expand on them. This is our first series of online sessions um, and it's a learning for ourselves, but I think there's interest in all of these subjects, so we will explore them more and stay in touch with Sira at Udaros.ie if you want to contribute or you want to find more information or you think there's other areas we should cover. So um Gumila Boyach is the Gotana or Laurelin and you, August Brown and Fina Five Technicule, Ta Love or the Agreen Steeny, but you're almost now got Kesha Raggers. Um um famous and Shah Reach and Shah and Jehog and a kind of sport ishka. August by Cantary Harkinagan, a concession chain freshen. August by Fall to Ireland in a reached, ignored to be the the Hogray Yield. August by Bay Malarkey then, towards Sanos, then we how to how to sell your experience online. So, by concession chain and simul, we will be new to go Thank you very much for being with us today. Um, a great range of speakers, and apologies for the technical problems. Um, I will put 80% of the five in the with Zoom. 10% on broadband, maybe 10% for us. We won't take full blame for the technical challenges. For a Mahabat Gakeshi, a Via Goberlin, Aaron, Aaron Togra, and you, August Delicots, and Anash Trukhan. And thank you so much to all the speakers. I really appreciate you joining us today. And it's the start of a conversation that's so, um, great to see good examples of what's happening across the country and inspiration for what we can do in, our, in, every, in every area in the Beatles. Um, so, Beatles, as I August, I'm still going to be able to do the and the um, a Carol Conagoyeg on the Sunry Dugger event, right? If you want to join the session next week, um, August Nijan Kunyal Slan, August Beck Mesh of Gurmila Mahaki Slan.